If you like our video, click the button to subscribe to our channel and get easy access to new content. To see our full suite of ad-free video courses, instruction manuals, and quick reference guides, visit us at www.teachucomp.com. Acrobat lets you add video and sound files to a PDF document. For reliable media playback within a PDF, it is often better to insert a link to video and audio media from an external site using the link feature. However, Acrobat also supports embedding media files encoded with the H.264 codec into a PDF. To add a video or audio file to a PDF in Acrobat, either click the Edit a PDF link in the All Tools panel, or click the Edit link in the top bar to show the Edit panel at the left side of the screen. If needed to expand the list and show all the content choices, Click the More link under the Add Content section in the Edit panel. Then click the Video button or the Sound button in the Edit panel as needed. Then use your mouse pointer cursor, which appears as a crosshair when held over the PDF page, to click and drag over the area within the page where you want the video or audio file to appear. As you click and drag, a blue box shows its border. When you release the mouse button, the Insert Video or Insert Sound dialog box then opens. To select an online media file to play, enter its full URL directly into the File field. Note the URL must contain a reference to the specific file to play and its file type. This means you cannot use most video sharing links you can copy from external video sites like YouTube or Vimeo in this dialog box, as they most often lack a reference to the specific video file to play. Alternatively, to embed a local video file or audio file directly into a PDF in Acrobat, click the adjacent Browse button to open a Select a File dialog box. Use this dialog box to find the media file to add. Then click it to select it and click the Open button in the Select a File dialog box to return to the previous dialog box. The name and pathway of the local media file then appears in the file field. If you embed a video file, to set the size of the video playback area in the PDF to the height and width ratio of the selected video for clearer video playback, Check the Snap to Content Proportions checkbox in this dialog box. For all embedded media, to show advanced playback settings, check the Show Advanced Options checkbox to expand the dialog box and show additional tabs of settings. The settings that then appear vary depending on the media file type selected. For all media file types, the Launch Settings tab lets you set playback options. To select the event that should trigger the media playback, select a choice from the Enable When drop-down in the Activation Settings section. To choose which event should disable the content, select a choice from the Disable When drop-down. To select a playback style, select a choice from the Playback Style drop-down. If you select the Play Content in Floating Window choice from this drop-down, then you can set the width and height of the window in pixels into the Width and Height field. If available, to set a border width for the media file playback, select a choice from the Border Width drop-down in the Appearance section. To set the poster image to show when the media file is not playing, select an Option button in the Poster Image section. To keep a poster image already selected, choose the Keep Current Poster option. To retrieve a poster image from the selected media file, select the Retrieve Poster from Media option. To manually choose a poster image, click the Create Poster from File option and click the Browse button to open the Select Poster Art dialog box. Navigate to the image to use as the poster image, click it to select it, and then click the Open button in the Select Poster Art dialog box.
to change settings for the video playback controls for video files only, click the Controls tab. To select the playback control skin to use, select a choice from the Skin dropdown in the Playback Controls section. To change the color of the playback controls, click the color box and choose a skin color from the drop down menu. To change the opacity of the playback controls, enter the desired opacity level into the opacity field. To automatically hide the playback controls, check the Auto Hide Controls checkbox. To edit chapter points for videos containing chapter points added by external software, click the Video tab. Then select a chapter point and click the Actions button on this tab to apply your desired actions in Acrobat at the selected chapter point. After setting any advanced options for the selected media file, click the OK button in the dialog box to insert it into the PDF. You can then trigger the media file using your selected action to preview it within the PDF to ensure it is working on your device. Be aware you need the correct version of the related media player for your selected media file type installed on your device to play the media content in the PDF. More importantly, other users who view this PDF must also have the related media player for the selected video file type installed on their device to play the content in the PDF. This is why it is often more reliable to include media playback in a PDF as links to external media a user can then play in their web browser. To edit or delete a media file in the PDF, click the Video or Sound button in the Edit panel, respectively. Then, right-click the media file and choose the Properties command from the pop-up menu to open the Edit Video or Edit Sound dialog box respectively, or you can then change the same options. Note that these are the same options available as when initially adding the media file. To delete the media file if needed, click it to select it in the PDF after choosing either the Video or Sound button in the Edit panel respectively, and then press the Delete key on your keyboard. Remember to click the subscribe button to see more of our videos. See our full suite of courses, instruction manuals, and quick reference guides at www.teachucomp.com.